its attack on its people is an outrageous and moral breach of the most fundamental and basic principles of international law. Our thoughts must be with the innocent people of Ukraine in this the most difficult hour. We stand with them. The UN Charter requires all countries to refrain from the threat or use of force against the territorial integrity and political independence of any state. As a small country in particular, today's use of brute force in pursuit of a warped perception of national interest is a serious affront. It presents Europe with the most grave security situation it has faced in decades, with repercussions for global security and for the world economy. It cannot and it will not go unanswered. President Putin and those who support him will be held accountable. This evening I will join with our partners in the European Union in Brussels to adopt the most severe package of sanctions we have ever considered. This will be on top of the measures we have already announced. They will be aimed to hit Putin and his henchmen where it hurts most. They have been warned. Actions have consequences and the consequences for them will be severe. The costs will be high. European Union sanctions will target strategic sectors of the Russian economy, blocking access to markets and to technologies. They will weaken Russia's economic base. Assets in the European Union will be frozen. They will have impacts too within the European Union, including in Ireland, and I will work with fellow leaders to support those hardest hit.